The roads are getting slick in Topeka and other cities as well. KSNT News reporter Willis Scott is live in West Topeka with a look at side roads. Willis, can you tell us how those look tonight? Chase, if you like ice skating, you don't have to go to a rink or even a pond. All you have to do is step out your front door. Like you said, things are slick out here. And as Matt was explaining, we had that freezing drizzle and that turned into sleet. And that has just left a thin uh, layer of ice on the roads. So you got to be careful when you're walking around, certainly driving around. People are having to take a lot of extra time just to get home or to get out to dinner if they're leaving for that. Of course, if you can, stay in and eat dinner there. And uh, we talked with uh, Topeka Mayor Michelle De La Isla, and she says that their plan for dealing with this is first to get the roads treated. I think that the plan of action right now, just like we do every single time, first of all, is try to treat the roads before things get really bad. That mitigates a lot of the problem. And some of the things that we're working on is some collaboration so that we could have more access to equipment so that we could then start servicing some of our residents that are the ones that are really having the challenges leaving their homes. And they do have crews out here. I just saw a snow plow drive by a few minutes ago. Now, as per usual, what they'll do is start by clearing the main roads and the emergency routes, and then they'll make it over here into these side roads in the neighborhoods. In West Topeka, Willis Scott, KSNT News. All right, Willis, thank you so much. And there is a resource you can use to track the city's cleanup progress. This is an interactive map that's online. The roads change colors based on how covered they are in snow and ice.